So today I'm replying to one of my YouTube comments and I wanted to do it publicly with you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys out there kind of struggle with this same sort of mentality mindset. And I just really want to like help you guys unravel, you know, my mindset and like secrets to, to actually seeing success in what you want to do. So let's go ahead and read the comment. The comment says, where did you learn to become this good in editing? And how did you set up everything? Like creating the content, starting to sell your products. And how did you know when you're ready to be good enough to teach people like me? I'm in the same situation. I'm 21, got back into the job market because I kind of gave up back in 2019. Editing slash creating videos is always something I wanted to do ever since I was 14. Now, this comment literally sounded exactly like me. Like I've been a creator since like I was young, probably 14 or 13. I've always wanted to create content. It's always been something that I want to do. And now luckily I'm blessed to be able to do this as my full-time thing and help you guys also get better as well. So let's go ahead and unpack this comment. So where did you learn to become this good in editing? Real quick, let's just go ahead and answer that. You know, if you guys haven't watched my last sort of like classroom slash coaching with Chris video, you guys probably won't know what this is, but reps reps is the thing that kind of got me to become this good in editing and honestly i would argue that i'm not even that great of an editor like i i genuinely believe that i just know the basics and fundamentals of creating content and when you learn the basics and fundamentals you can create decent enough looking content to where you get comments to where people are asking how do you get this good at editing it's really just reps bro like it's really not too hard other than just you know you see content that you like go ahead and try to recreate it and if you can recreate it one for one then you're just as good as that person's edited it it's just you have to be more creative if you can do it one for one in the program by copying someone then you could do it for yourself but where it comes into play is like creativity and the only way you can be more creative isn't just because you're born with it it's because you put in the reps and you just you familiarize yourself with good content enough to where your content just sort of molds into like the visually aesthetic um, style, if that makes sense. So how did I set up everything? And this is where he's referring to like creating my content. I actually shared how I create content on Instagram and I still feel like I'm like in the beta of YouTube. Like I'm really just trying to focus on putting out my reps again here on YouTube. And I've seen decent success, but by no means do I think I'm a great YouTuber. I just have been putting in the reps and just sharing what I do know with you guys, right? So creating the content essentially is just, there's sort of really a couple pillars to creating content, right? So it's the video quality, so video, and then that's just really camera, right? So video quality, you need good lighting. So lighting, that's another one. Uh, I spelled lighting wrong, but it is what it is. And then also audio, right? So it's video quality, lighting quality, and then audio quality. So good video quality, you go get a camera. You need good lighting, just go buy a good light. You need good audio, go buy a good mic. Simple as that. That's how you create decent looking content. Decent looking content. Now how you create good looking content or how you create good content is by providing great value and just learning skills like speaking on camera, etc. Now, the third sort of question that he asks is how did you know you were good enough to teach people like me? And this is something that I actually used to have a problem with. I used to think that like, I can't teach other people what I know because I'm just not doing it or I'm not making money from it. Whereas that's literally cap. So the best way that I would answer this question is essentially there are always going to be people either one step behind you, two steps behind you, three, four, five, like you, you get the point right? There's always gonna be people behind you, right? So let's say my skill level is up here, right? Now I can only teach the people behind me with these sort of skill levels. Like I can't go up, it wouldn't make sense for me to go up here and teach people about stuff that I know nothing about because I'm just not there yet right? But I feel like in me doing so teaching other people below me, one, I'm helping people actually just gain the experience to be able to be on my level. And then the thing that's dope about that is one, it kind of makes me uncomfortable because I'm allowing others to grow, which means the pool of people with similar expertise is growing, which means that it forces me to be ahead of the curve and learn either from these guys, or I go out and just like go learn it myself and like put in the time, right? So it keeps me accountable for growing which helps you guys stay growing because I'm growing all the time. So it's kind of like a dope little like sort of cycle. And there's people above me who edit better than me that eventually I'll be learning from them, right? So it's kind of like this whole cycle. And that's kind of just like the name of the game is just getting better and growing and just helping the people behind you. If you know how to edit a video from start to finish, then you have enough knowledge to go out and start creating YouTube videos. Like you don't have to be an insane expert. Like the thing that's dope about this sort of 
industry is there's no real certifications other than is the quality of your work good because if it's good then people are going to hire you if it's bad no one's going to hire you so it's really just all comes down to how good is your work you know are you good can you create good looking content can you create better content than you did a year ago then if so then yeah you can teach other people who are just getting started like there's always new beginners so that's how i'd answer that sort of question okay so the last question or not question but the last part of this is like editing and creating videos is always something i wanted to do ever since i was 14 and i've had this same exact like belief like i've always wanted this as well i've had the same exact desire and the way that i made it happen like i wish someone would have just told me when i was 14 this is how you're going to make it happen is one you know build an audience so build an audience two build a product for your audience and then three just spam your marketing which this sounds pretty aggressive and abrasive and it's not really meant to be abrasive but it's to get the point across i was always so good at building products and building content you know what i mean but i was never good at building an audience and i was also never good at consistently marketing my product right? Like I would literally do the same exact thing. I used to create editing tutorials, but I had no way to actually capture money from that. When I was building an audience, but I had nothing to make money from it, right? I had nothing to monetize my content with. So therefore I was making no money. I was just giving her a free value, which is amazing and great. That's how you build an audience. But if you build an audience just to do nothing with that or to not monetize it, then you're just not going to make money. And it just makes sense, right? So one, build an audience which is essentially just consistently create content so that literally equals consistent content and then after that you just you know you tell people you have a product that can help them in their situation or what they're doing and then boom there you go like you literally can create and edit content full-time for a living that's literally how i became a content creator so yeah anyways guys that is it for today's little coaching session one-on-one -on -one with chris eventually i do really want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you guys um, at a higher ticket price point but right now i'm just kind of getting my reps in through these videos kind of just walking you guys through my experience and i'm just really hoping that i can help you guys get to where i'm at you know because it's an amazing lifestyle and i want everyone to be living this so if you guys want to go ahead and follow my instagram growth journey check up on me check up how my life is going feel free to follow me down on instagram below but anyways guys that is it for me remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace out